Hi, it's Miss Akvari in the library. I wanted to talk with you about the book An American Plague, the true and terrifying story of the yellow fever epidemic of 1793. The reason I think this book is interesting right now is because we're in the middle of a global pandemic. We're in the middle of a virus that has sort of uh, taken over a lot of our daily life. And this was similar uh, to what the citizens of Philadelphia experienced in 1793. So it kind of made me think about that event and um, I thought maybe some of you might be interested in reading more about it. A few things to know. So yellow fever is a virus. It's actually still around today, although we have a vaccine for it now. Um, yellow fever is a virus that's passed from mosquito to human. So it's something that certain mosquitoes carry. Um, if they bite a human, a human can get effect affected. Um, it's similar to coronavirus in a couple ways. Number one, it is a virus. Um, number two, especially in 1793, before people knew much about yellow fever, um, there was some um, variety in how people either didn't get sick, um, got sick but recovered pretty quickly, or got very, very sick with this virus. Um, and passed away. And that's something that's a little similar to coronavirus right now. We don't always know what the effects are going to be on people um, if they get the virus. And it was a very scary time in Philadelphia because this virus kind of snuck in and people didn't know what was happening. Um, a lot of people got sick. A lot of people died. It caused a lot of problems in Philadelphia. Um, farmers decided not to come to the city to sell their uh, food. So there was a food shortage. Businesses shut down because they didn't want people around um, or maybe um, business owners got sick themselves and couldn't keep their businesses open. So there was a really difficult time in Philadelphia's economy. And both of those things are things that we've probably experienced due to COVID. We've had seen businesses um, shut down or had some restrictions in place as far as what we could do um, about going to different businesses. The big difference um, that we see in what happened in Philadelphia is because of the time period. So in 1793, um, the sanitation that you had in Philadelphia or anywhere in the United States was really poor compared to what we have. There was no running water, so that means um, garbage and sewage are kind of sitting in the streets um, uh, collecting bugs and mosquitoes, which is part of the problem with this virus. Philadelphia itself sits on a river, so there are a lot of places um, that had a lot of water around that attracted those mosquitoes. Um, the medical profession in 1793 is very different than what we know right now. So there weren't uh, drugs that doctors could give when someone got sick. There weren't vaccines. That was not something that had been invented yet. And in fact, the way that doctors treated a lot of illnesses was to bleed the patient. So they would actually uh, remove blood from the patient, which we know now isn't a very healthy thing to do. Um, but back then they thought it was um, what would help. So this is a very interesting book to me because we are in a time where um, we're scared of a virus and we have some concerns around a virus. And so science is really helpful to help us understand that. And this book um, kind of takes us through um, what we've learned and all of those things um, added to our medical knowledge that our doctors and scientists are using today. So if you like nonfiction books where true information um, is given to you, or if you're interested in diseases or sort of the history of disease, uh, this isn't the first time that the United States has had to deal with a similar situation to what we're in now, um, this might be a great book for you to check.